Burkina Faso recently welcomed a new air transport service, raising important questions. Is this just a luxury for the elite, or can it truly address the nation's deep-rooted security issues? Some wonder whether the 20-seat aircraft is merely a symbolic gesture under the guise of humanitarian aid, or if it represents genuine progress. Does this single plane signify real change, or is it merely skimming over the larger problems? What does the arrival of this air service actually mean for the country? Let's explore its implications. The introduction of a new air transport service in Burkina Faso has sparked both excitement and skepticism. On September 7th, the 20-passenger aircraft made its debut, offering safer and more efficient travel to people living in the eastern regions particularly in areas like Diaga Palma and Gary, where traveling by road has become increasingly hazardous. This initiative has been hailed by both the government and the public as more than just a transportation upgrade. It's seen as a sign of resilience and a commitment to national development. To start, this air service marks a transformative step for transportation in Burkina Faso, which has long faced significant challenges, especially in conflict-prone regions. For years, road travel in areas like Diaga, Palma, and Giri has been fraught with danger, cutting off communities from the rest of the country. This new air service provides a reliable, secure option for residents who have been isolated for too long. Beyond convenience, it is a practical solution to reconnecting communities affected by insecurity. The introduction of this air service means more than just moving people. It's about bridging the gap between disconnected communities and ensuring safety in regions where insurgents threaten lives. The ability to bypass dangerous roads is a huge relief for many, as it reduces the risks associated with land travel. Moreover, this initiative provides much-needed access to essential services like healthcare, education, and markets, which have been largely unavailable due to security concerns. This development also brings economic, social, and healthcare benefits. For the first time in years, people in conflict zones have a secure way to reach hospitals, schools, and marketplaces, revitalizing local economies and improving access to services. This collaboration between the private sector and government demonstrates a commitment to addressing critical needs and fostering growth, showing that the nation is actively working to move forward despite adversity. But beyond transportation, there is the pressing question. How does this air service impact security in the region? Security has been a major issue in Burkina Faso, especially in the Eastern Territories. For years, insurgents have made road travel dangerous, preventing people from accessing vital services. By providing a safer alternative to road travel, this air service is a response to the security crisis, allowing residents to move freely without fear. The service also plays a key role in the government's larger efforts to restore peace and stability in the region. It sends a clear message that the state is committed to protecting its citizens and ensuring their well-being, reinforcing trust between the government and the people. In doing so, Burkina Faso shows that it will not be held back by insecurity. The initiative is a testament to the country's resilience and determination to overcome obstacles. Beyond security, this air service also has the potential to stimulate economic growth. Improved connectivity between conflict-ridden areas and the rest of the country allows for smoother business operations, faster transportation of goods, and reduced costs for local businesses. Entrepreneurs now have the opportunity to expand their reach, while farmers can bring their produce to market more efficiently, increasing their income and reducing poverty. The service has also created jobs, from pilots to ground crew, and offers new employment opportunities in logistics and maintenance. In regions like Diaga Palma and Gary, where job opportunities have been scarce, this development brings hope to families struggling to make ends meet. Furthermore, it is empowering marginalized groups, including women, by providing them access to economic opportunities previously out of reach. In addition to its economic benefits, this air service has revolutionized access to healthcare and social services. The ongoing conflict in Burkina Faso has severely limited healthcare access, as many people cannot travel safely to medical facilities. This air service now offers a lifeline, allowing patients to reach hospitals without risking their lives on dangerous roads. Healthcare workers can also travel to remote areas to provide essential services, significantly improving public health outcomes in regions with limited infrastructure. 
Moreover, this service enhances access to education and social welfare programs, allowing students to travel to school safely. It also helps government officials reach vulnerable populations more effectively, providing much-needed support. Beyond these immediate benefits, this air service is fostering national unity. By connecting isolated regions with the rest of the country, it helps to unify the nation and ensure that no area is left behind. This enhanced connectivity also boosts Burkina Faso's ability to respond to emergencies, whether they be natural disasters or security crises, as resources and personnel can be mobilized more swiftly. The launch of this air transport service is more than just a solution to transportation woes. It symbolizes Burkina Faso's resilience, innovation, and commitment to progress. It shows that even in the face of adversity, the nation is capable of moving forward, uniting its people, and building a stronger future. The inauguration of Burkina Faso's air transport service is a significant milestone in the country's journey toward progress. From enhancing security to improving access to essential services, this initiative is reshaping lives in conflict-affected areas. Most importantly, it symbolizes national unity and hope for a brighter future. This is just the beginning. Burkina Faso is setting a new standard for resilience and forward-thinking solutions, and there's much more to come. Thank you for joining us on Africa Info Hub channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Stay tuned for more in-depth coverage on the geopolitical shifts shaping Africa and the world. Thanks for watching.